like if Coden Coleman can get on top and, and get away from Drew Wilson, get some help from his forwards to get away from Drew Wilson, um, he'll, he'll, he'll be able to uh, clunk a few and, and be a big influence in the second half. It's not always easy, though. Drew Wilson is a good reader of the play and uh, exactly. arguably one of the, the smartest defenders going around in Division 1. So Massive matchup, though. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I've really enjoyed Greensboro's ability to... Well, they've kept their forward line relatively open, which has meant that they're allowed allowing players to run into it and in open space and once they get past the, the congestion and, and, and the, you know, the, the big packs that they form around the ground they are really able to move the ball freely and we saw a couple of times here um, where they had Luke Stanton kick a long ball long ball to uh, half forward flank and they also had Callaway running through up on the wing one or two times there and, and, and but, I mean one or two significant times there but plenty of others amongst that where we've seen the, the run and carry of green throw and then being able to hit up a target in the forward line or go and kick a goal on the run. It's been good to watch. The, the use of Stanton and Burns, I, I think, has been interesting. I think we all expected them to, to both start forward, but Burns has started forward here in the second half, but uh, he and Stanton played uh, loose in the back half for majority of the first half. Now, that one is the uh, first ruck contest of the second half. One down there by Craker. A lot of numbers around the ball trying to pick that one up was Fowler for Greensboro. Big tackle laid there by Boyden and a free kick's come out. It's going to go the way of Northcote Park. Uh, I think McLennan may have been slung down to the ground there by Boyden in that tackle, so he'll take it between uh, the centre circle and half back. It's a good little uh, little pass, and he finds his uh, teammate who swings off to Lorenzini, who goes with a long left foot kick, and good defensive effort there at the back. Uh, it's going to be a free kick paid to Greensboro. Just an interesting one there. Look at Boyd in there. He, again, allowed Lorenzini to just really zone off and, and just get yep. clear and, and kick it long inside 50. He's got to work better defensively. He has kicked three goals, but a couple of times. I mean, Lorenzini has kicked the goal, but another number of times sending the ball long inside 450. It's like switch across goal. It doesn't quite work. Two on one there for Northcote Park. At, at ground level. Now Carter's waiting back. Oh, in fact, there's a collar at the back. The handball just didn't quite make it to him. We'll have a ball up. Oh, it's going to be a throw in. So close to that band line here at the cricket that's uh, Bill Laurie Oval, the umpire now, asking for the footy, he'll throw it up. Ruckman do their work. Croker won it down at ground level. Wall slaps on. Nice work there. Now Stanton re- hemmed up against the boundary line. Kicks it long to half forward. McNeese and Violata, the only two really there, able to take the mark. And it's Violata who marks it half back for Norska Park. So Norska Park leading this one by 11 points. That was the margin at half time. This is Morris now on the outer wing. He goes with the right foot kick inside the forward 50. A one on one contest. It eludes them both on the ground there for Norska Park. It was Coleman. He gets it around though. Hyde gets it out to the pocket. This is Mullins. Mullins off to Griffiths, who tries to dance around one, oh. gets it back to Mullins. Mullins now, he's hemmed in by Davies. Davies lays a tackle. It comes out now to Davies. Davies it hard up along the boundary line, goes with the right foot kick. Has oh, he got... Oh, has it oh, gone no. in? It's gone in. What a great goal. We've said all day that we've seen so many near goal of the year contenders, and that's an absolute beauty from Ronnie I, Davies. Hemmed up on the boundary line, and he just <laughs> put it through so easy. Off the boot, it looked like it was never going to miss. The umpire didn't have to move, and he hit the post in the second term. Would have been a great goal. He gets his just rewards today. He's had a great second quarter, and he started the third pretty well as well. I was a, I was a bit lax in my commentary, because I didn't think he was going to have a shot, but he, he did. <laughs> that was a great goal, hard up against the boundary line. And, and after laying that tackle as well, he was able to get back on the footy, and, and straight away, he, he uh, straightened himself up towards the goal. It was a beautiful kick. Uh, serious class from the uh, 2012 Rosbrook Trophy winner. And now back in the middle, Craker wins that one down. Uh, in the bottom of the pack there, that's uh, Matty Fowler there for Greensboro. Gets a handball out. Mullins, he was tackled straight away by Letter, Brought to ground. And there'll be a bounce, secondary bounce in the middle of the ground. So it's 8 7 55 at Northcote Park. Greensboro 5 8 38. The all-important first goal, third term, going to uh, Northcote Park and going to Bronick Davies as the balls emerge through... Uh, Doug Morris here. He's had a great game, Morris. Kicks up the half forward to Patrick O'Connell, who was so lively in that first term. O'Connell, gee, really well done by Brian here to smother the ball, but fortunately it ricocheted back to O'Connell. Handball to Kelly. Hemmed up right in that spot where Davies just kicked on. He's trying the inside oh, out uh, what a the kick. check side, and it just found its way right onto the chest of Mitch Pappas. I don't know if it was intended, but it certainly got to Mitch Pappas, and he can go back now on the opposite side of the field, really. He's hemmed up in the other in the other forward pocket, Mitch Pappas, really a side that favours the right footers. Kelly, 30 metres out from goal on the boundary, he goes for a 60 metre floater to the other <laughs> side of the ground and finds Pappas in 30 metres of space. Sensational. As Pappas comes in, set shot from deep in the boundary. He's put it straight over the goal umpire's hat. Two goals from deep in the forward pockets here by Northcote Park to start this third quarter. And they're out now out to a match high lead. It is 23 points, Northcote Park. 9-7-61, Greensboro 5-8-38, 23 points 
North Park Park's marching. Well, you just hope for the sake of the game that uh, Greensboro haven't switched off completely at the start of this third quarter because we had a very tight contest in the first half and you'd like to hope that uh, Greensboro can maintain that throughout the second half as well. But if they switch off for even just a moment, North Coast Park will bounce and, uh, and get a good lead out as they have looked like they're about to do here. Three goals in a row for North Coast Park. Lawrence Zini kicking the final goal of the second term, which did come about halfway through that quarter, it must be said. Uh, yeah, the flies up for the Rock Jewel, but, but the ball's locked in there. Umpire calls for a secondary ball up in the middle of the ground. Craker as well doing the ruck work for uh, for Greensboro, and they go at it again. Woodson taps it out, gets it onto McLennan. McLennan does well, but he's wrapped up in a tackle from Mullins, and uh, the umpire says another ball up there in the middle of the ground. I just want to go around the ground in Division Three. Three big games going on. St Mary's leading Watsonia five seven thirty seven to seven six forty eight. Thomastown back in front of, of Reservoir by point thirty eight to thirty seven, and Heidelberg West forty nine trailing Parkside sixty four. Ball, ball comes out the way here of. Uh, of Greensboro getting in and under there is Cameron Jordan but he's, his handball is wayward Delidio in the race now with Conley Gunn he wins it now he's off with a rightful kick inside the forward 50 line but uh, just well, foul almost takes the mark there gets it off to his teammate a kick over the top but it comes straight back to Delidio not 15 so he has to play on here Mullins lays another good tackle and that one's gone over the boundary line and it's actually been given a free kick so Northcote Park are going to have Delidio's a free ball. here at right half forward it is going to Matt Delidio Considine's put the afterburners on he's, he's getting down long and deep and Don Jetty well, isn't quite gone with him but uh, Lawrence is staying back so the chip Three. inside oh Kelly nearly took it handle away doesn't quite find its way to his <laughs> letter inside but uh, on the ball not fast on the ground furthest uh, point for us to call from, from the commentary position but it is Northcote Park leading 61 to 38 hotly contested start to this second half here Rucks to go at it again it's going to be wanted up against Craker Craker won it down got it to his teammate and Bryant trying to uh, sorry his Clark trying to barge through the pack he was uh, held without it he, he, his arm was oh sorry no no he, it was paid holding the ball so Doug Morris now goes inside 50 year for Northcote gets it in the direction of Davies Davies sweeps a handball out to Abitangelo he gets a shepherd from O'Connell Abitangelo on the left tries to work it back Back with the win towards goal. Can't quite do it enough. Out to the left for one behind. First unsuccessful uh, effort they've had from deep in the pocket this quarter. They have kicked the two miraculous goals. Firstly through Bonnie Davies and the second one by Mitch Pappas. It is now a 22-point mark. Hyde in the pocket goes up to the wing. Delidio might run onto this one. Actually, it's uh, it's Moldrit. But uh, Abitanjo runs onto it here. He's hemmed up hard up against the boundary line. Violato now. Oh, sorry, that was Noldrit going back inside forward 50. And a good mark taken back there in defence. From, uh, from Hyde again, another defensive mark taken from Matty Hyde. He's been fantastic, Hyde. He's, he's only a short, shortish kind of size, isn't he? But he's just so good at getting across and, and taking that defensive mark. He gave it off the gun, who got himself into, the, into some trouble because he weren't off his line, and the man on the mark was sensational. There was a Donaldson, I think, who just charged at him and really closed his face. He had the handball looking for, for safety, and the ball now just 10 metres advance of, of where he took that initial mark. And Wilson was somewhat on his own last year in, in that back half, and, and having Hyde to help with the run and carry, and he's also a really good one-on-one -on -one defender, Hyde. So Wilson will love having him back there. No doubting that. This is Conlon Gunn now streaming through the midfield. Finds his man in Stanton. Gunn's kept on running and he's going to find another man up with Aaron Burns. It just goes over his head though. McNeese was underneath this one. Didn't put in much of a challenge but goes again for the second time. Getting down to ground level. He gets there again. Good a second effort there from McNeese. But he plays coming support now and wrap this one up for a ball up. That's in a half forward for Greensboro. Yeah, Northcote Park defenders just has to be on their toes here. Real opportunity here for Greensboro to, to peg one back, and, and they start well with the clearance here. It's Aaron Burns who peels it off the back of that clearance, gets it wide out to Boyd, and oh, he was spoiled by his teammate there, and it's uh, gone out of bounds. There it was miscommunication there. Someone had to call uh, out their teammate, and uh, unfortunately they didn't, so we're going to see a ball in about 20 metres out here from the Northcote Park goal. So, sorry, the, uh, the Greensboro goal. Uh, Boyden standing one-on-one -on -one in the goal square there with Lawrence. And he tapped over the back there uh, by Bon Jetty. Got it down to his man. So he was wrapped up straight away. And there'll be another stoppage. Still a dangerous area here. Again, Greensboro, even though it's only about 30 metres out from goal, leaving Boyden free in the goal square. Cam Jordan just hanging around the back of this pack. Stanton tries to get a hand to it. Conti, uh, Stead comes through now. His kick was a bit of an airy-fairy one. Comes out to McNeese. Play on here. It's clear, clear out of the pack. It's going towards goal. And it's been scored by Tim Bongetti out of the pack, out of the congestion, and another goal there from Bongetti, and that's his uh, that's his that's his first of the yeah, day. Yeah, just his other two, but just the opportunistic snap, wasn't it? We've seen three uh, really good goals so far this quarter. Bongetti just picked it up, put it on his boot as quickly as possible, and it just went through. Well, straight, really straight out of the goal umpire's head. So 
Bongetti well, deserved his first. He's worked really hard today, and it's back now to a three-goal game. It's 9 8 Northcote Park. Greensboro at 6 8 44. They certainly needed that one. They couldn't let the margin extend to five goals. Inside-out talk for off one step there by Bongetti. Sensational stuff. And Craker won that one down in the ruck, uh, but only as far as the, the man there in short. He got it up to half forward. Charging through was Walsh there for Northcote Park. Uh, but the uh, back six of Greensboro are doing pretty well to repel that. And a long kick out to uh, Violato and Burns. They're pursuing each other. And Violato eventually taps it out for a boundary throw on the other side. They've thrown men back as well. It looks like they've got one or two uh, extra defensive players there, Greensboro. So leaving their forward line a bit open, as we said. But also uh, trying to stop the flow from Northcote Park. As we have a throw in now on the opposite side on the wing. And now McEwen and Craker to do the ruck work. Craker against front position and double fist it down. But it comes out to Northcote Park though. McLennan getting underneath this one, but too many players around it, and umpire calls for a ball up on wing. So it's 62 playing 44, ball now on the centre wing, umpire throwing it up. Ruckman taps it, Donaldson extracted, long kick outside, Hyde's going to get back and take the defensive mark. We've called that a number of times today, Matty Hyde, he's having a great game across half back for Greensboro. Plays on straight away, kicking it long back down the wing, right where the ball came from. Big fly from Burns, ball got to the back of the pack, Violato, so calm. Handballs inside, McEwen's always going to look to handball the Ruckman, got it off to Donaldson. He's sold short under the uh, under pressure now, taken by Stanton, handball, oh, just a dangerous one. Greensboro players trying to crash through, came out to Mullins, now is it Callaway here in the long sleeves, he takes on his man, shows some dash, Good gets on the left, this would be a great goal, if it goes through, what a mark, what a mark, mark, mark. 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 I think we put Ryan, in fact it was, uh, no, it was Callaway, it was right first time, yeah. it, it, first time around and just poached up the goal and wasn't it by, by uh, the man here in, in Boyden, but it had to be done just to ensure that uh, Lauren Zini didn't get a hand in and he puts it straight through from point blank range and Greensboro two goals in four minutes and keep coming out to a 12 point margin they won't go away it's nine goals 862 Greensboro 7850 and we're talking about the strength of Reese Boyd in the pre- pre-game show and he shows it there against Sean Lauren Zini just able to hold him off and uh, taking the mark on the goal line great strength Sean he kicked four goals Lauren Zini's had an impact kick one who do you reckon's on the battle so far today? Uh, I, I would say Boyd and just that, I also reckon that goal just there puts him in front but as we have seen and Lorenzini has been able to run off him a few times and get a few easy touches off half-back as Conlon Gunn streams out of the middle of the ground. The kick to half-forward to no one really in particular. McNeese the first one to get there, but he overran it. Bon Jetty now with time and space to use the footy. He handballed it back out. Burns is uh, corralled for the boundary line and it will be a throw. There's an opportunity to get it in deep. Boyden had darted back quickly and he was on in about 10 metres of space and Lorenzini very quick, uh, or very slow to, to turn around and get back quickly. So Boyden certainly giving him the run around in the past couple of minutes or so was the ball now just grabbed out of the ruck there. That one of the speed, snapped it around the right boot. McNeese will chip over there and Jordan can the open goal here. Jordan kicks the goal and they're back within six points. Three goals in five minutes and it is well and truly game on. North Park 9862, Greensboro 8856. A bit of a misfortune there for McNeese tripping over his own feet there, but Greensboro's fight back has been sensational. They've been magnificent, haven't they? And, and they've won the ball out of the middle. As we said pre-game, they would have to win the ball out of the middle to really put pressure on the North Park defence. Uh, Conlon Gunn's been brilliant. He's got a, a, a whole bunch of clearances uh, in the first half. He's continued in the second half. Josh Grubb's been magnificent using the ball out of the middle. Of the yeah. And I think Luke Stanton has been fantastic. Oh, he's he's come into the side. He's, he's been very close to best on ground for Greensboro. He's, he's uh, been fantastic delivering the ball and applying pressure there. Fantastic stuff there. So Greensboro right back in this contest. Hot game at the moment. Craker against McEwen. Craker eventually won that one down into the path of Conti. Uh, high kick by Davies out to get it out of that pack, but there's still a lot of players around this one. I don't know if that went 10 metres, but the mark was paid to Kelly anyway. And a real chance for uh, Northcote Park to uh, get it long and strong in the forward 50. Oh, almost a mark could have been paid there in the goal square for Northcote Park, but rebounding off, off the back 50. Uh, long kick there by Bryant to get it out. Uh, few players after this one. That one was Carter. Carter with a high left foot kick close to the boundary line. It's going to beat McLaren over the line in front of Hyde and it'll be a throw in the full pocket. I think it's at the full actually, yeah. just bouncing outside of the boundary line. Just to say before, uh, with that, that goal from Cameron Jordan, again, the open forward line tactics for Greensboro working really well. Cameron Jordan at the back of that pack and uh, ran into the open goal. It's only one or two other players in that forward 50. Well. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> great tactics there from Greensboro, but they're here up on the wing now and uh, Craig has wrapped up in a tackle from Carter and uh, 
it will be a ball up. We'll oh. go around the ground. Sorry, Jordan. 62 plays 56 here. Altham 312 30 trailing Heidelberg 9862. Greens up uh, West Preston 8755 leading Epping 5434. Montmorency 1612 108. All over lower plenty 8755 and Mandura 13 14 92 to Mapada 4933. So McEwen and Cracker to do the ruck work again. They've been doing most of the ruck work for this third turn. Ball comes out the back to Griffiths. He's wrapped up in the tackle from McLennan. Umpire says another ball up. We've had a lot of stoppages in this game today. I mean, as much of the, the free flowing running play we've had, there's been quite a few stoppages as the umpire throws it back up again on the wing. Oh. Now trying to break out of this pack here. This is Harley Short on the ground and uh, he's wrapped up in another tackle. Another ball up. Look at that boundary umpire that needs to be checked for uh, performance enhancing. He's, he's, he's got a seriously <laughs> long arm. That, that throw in went way over the back of the two ruckmen. So in the centre of the ground here, another stoppage. And uh, any players still around this one. Leather tries to get it out. A few players uh, just attempting to get the handballs out, but eventually it comes out through Harley Short. He goes out to the right half forward oh, flank. Right. Plenty of players around this one. Kelly, Kelly's trying to uh, evade Drew Wilson, but Wilson, great pressure. Didn't go out. Nabi Kelly's managed to keep it in. Callaway's in there as well. His handball was a bit light. It comes out to Wilson. He tries to dance around one. Kelly's in there again, and Nabi, so is Callaway. Nabi Kelly just did three or four efforts to he, get the ball locked up. He's been moved forward. He's been instrumental. He obviously set up that Pappas goal, whether he meant or not, we're not too sure, but you're right, he's efforts there, he just never gives up on the footy and he just makes it so hard for the defenders to get it out. So Wunt now in the ruck up in the, uh, the forward line with Craker, goes around the back of both of them again, McLennan gets it out, off to a teammate here, into the goal square, good spot at the back there, I think that was from Hyde again, comes out the back though and uh, Otangelo runs onto this one, gets it back and kicks a goal for Northcote Park Northcote Park ex extended their lead now by two goals and it is now 10-8-68 Northcote Park playing Greensboro 8-8-56 just a little buffer there again for Northcote Park midway through the stage. Obviously in the lead, but certainly a goal that there was much needed there for the Cougars. Ends a run of three straight for the Borough. And as Jordan said, back out to a two-goal margin, 10-8, 68-8, 8, 8 56. He's hit two opportunistic goals, hasn't he, now for Tanjo? Both in really similar positions on the ground where he's just sharked the ball at ground level and, and put it through on his right boot. But uh, he's been handy. His two goals are what separate the sides at the moment. And most of the goals for Northcote have come in opportunistic fashion. It probably uh, hasn't been a day for, for, your, for your key tools such as Walsh or Wunton, they haven't really hit the scoreboard yet, but um, uh, uh, well, Connell, he was the lead-up target, he got a couple of goals from set shots, but uh, Short, Coleman, Abitangelo and Pappas, they, they've all uh, been able to latch on to the end of a couple of opportunistic uh, chances. So back in the centre now for the ball up, McEwen and Craig are still in the ruck, Morris is in there as well, tries to get the hands out to Delidio. he's on the ground now, Fowler coming in, this, Ma this is Matthew Fowler, hands it off, and eventually Greensboro clear it up to centre half forward. Lorenzini runs up to this one around the back. Aaron Brands providing chase. Lorenzini goes up with a kick. It just evades uh, his teammate there in Irving. Irving, we haven't seen much of him today, but he's wrapped up in the tackle. Umpire calls for a ball up. Half forward flank, North Park. Good work there by Lorenzini, having the, the conviction to, to run off the off board. And it's always hard to, when you're an attacking player to know when, when to go and when not to go when your opponent has four goals, but he made the right decision there. And we see now it's Considine uh, against Bongetti, one out in the goal score. So Greensboro pushing Boyden up voided up into this contest as the Ruckman fly. McEwen wanted to ground level hardball to win the Ledios at the bottom of the pack. He's been industrious today, the Ledio. Been really hard at the free. And now the ball is going to take a secondary throw up. The umpire now up in the air. Cracker through, through, <laughs> flew really high. Ball came out. Irving overrun it. Lorenzini handles out to Carter. Didn't know which way to go. Got a handle away. Steed stands over the footy. Trying to crush through again now. Steed couldn't quite get through. Kick smothered. That was off the boot there at Fowler. You could hear the, in the effects one just how loud that was on hand. That would uh, that was the thing, the man who, who smothered that footy. The second and third efforts from the experienced North Park players have definitely lived through in the last five minutes. We'll mention Nabi Kelly before. But Delidio with a couple of really good tackling efforts there and that last piece of play they're lifting. A lot of pressure around this contest here from North Park. They know that if Greensboro are able to clear it out of this pack, they've got two or three men inside the forward 50 by themselves able to get it, uh, able to get the free ball. So they're not allowing that. But again, Greensboro, here we go. They do get the clearance out of the pack, but it's a bit too close to the boundary line. And it goes out, out of bounds on the full. So North Park will get it in their back pocket. And it looks like it's going to be Irving to take the kick here right in front of us. This is 10 metres out from the Greensboro goal, Irving. He would have gone short to Colney. He's still an option. He's going to go long now. On the left boot, it's a long kick up to high half ball. It might end up at the full. Well, it has. It goes over the back of the pack. And uh, now for a 
Then the other way, Breen's but it looks like Tristan Steed to take this free kick and bring it back in the play. Steed between wing and half forward. Uh, Bongetti tried the presented option. McNeese standing in the hole in front of him. He goes again, Bongetti, but the uh, short option uh, presents itself. It's Brent Ryan, and he's got it about 70 metres from goal, too far out to score. But a real chance to score a goal here if he can get it in deep. Bongetti was the target. Push out, and he's going to get a free kick. A little bit clumsy there, Considine at the back there. Uh, Coleman, uh, it was a two-on-one. Coleman had the uh, had the sit, sit off it. He was going to take the mark anyway, but uh, didn't need to shove Bongetti out of the contest there, Considine. The whole, whole throw take a big leg. It's just a worry when you're coming up against a big powerful forward. You just you never know whether you've got them out of the contest and uh, I think you just worried him out of more than anything as Bongetti comes in to make it a one goal ball game. Bongetti shot on goal. Looks good. Waiting on the goal up on minus four he says. And uh, the, two crowd, the two crowds are uh, well the Greensboro ones the first belt that was in there the Norse Park contingent uh, just giving a bit of verbal as the umpire signals one behind going over the goal post. 68 now plays 50. Oh, what, oh, what a mark taken by Johnson. Opportun- and, uh, Sorry, opportunity now for Greensboro to go back inside 450. This is Wing Tool at the half forward flank. He goes short into Jordan. Danger. A bit of a high kick. Oh, Another oh, great mark taken back there from Carter for Walker Park. He's in the left back pocket for Walker Park. And uh, there's plenty of players running around in front of him now. Just has to calm himself. Goes short to Morris. Still inside defensive 50 here for Norska Park. it has been a great game, hasn't it? Just doing it, throwing the crowd right into it. Exciting stuff here is he gets the handle off to a running McNeese, a spearing kick by Yuki. <laughs> finds the teammate in Wilton quickly on to leader. They're quickly up the half forward now. Can they find a big mark? Ball comes to the back of the pack. Who can run onto it? O'Connell's in it amongst it. Out number two to one, Greensboro. Transition work now. Across now to Callaway on the far wing. Callaway can chip inside to Mullins. Mullins with that unique haircut. The mullet runs around Violato. Now can run to 50. Goes long. It's going to be a one-on-one contest. Jordan Blue got hands on it. Could have reached ground level. Bonjetti handball to the goal screen. Rob, can he take control? He can't. Ball tapped out just in front of him. McNeese getting back. Rushes it through for a minor score. Greensboro now moved into eight goals, 10-58. North the Park, 10-8-68. Great pressure. McNeese out to Irving in the back pocket with a long left football Go, gets it up to the wing position two Greensboro players to the one Northcote player but the Northcote player wins out at the back that was O'Connell, he gave the handball out and got it back and now he's running inside 50 little chip up and he finds a teammate about 50 metres out from goal he moves it inside a little bit short a great little chip pass and they'll get a shot on goal here Northcote. That was great by Walsh, he was the one who took the mark and he signalled to Pappas to, to lead into that space coming for him he darted, he went one way, went the other he had two opponents but he as is always the case with the full, when you have space to lead into, you can lead one way, lead the other. The, the opposition's just got to be so reactive, and, and Walsh just almost begging Pappas to come back into the space. Pappas now line up for goal number three. Kick on goal. Looks pretty good, and they're back out to a three-goal margin. Important goal there. One opportunity missed down one end, and transition play worked its way up beautifully for Northcote Park. Greensboro didn't touch the footy again, and now the margin is, again, 16 points. Northcote Park, 11 goals... It's 11 goals, 8.74 to 8.10.58. Yep. We're in the deep stages of the third term. This has been a great game here at Bill Laurie Oak. And Paddy O'Connell involved in yet another goal. It was a sensational run by him. Gave off the hand pass, got it back and delivered to Walsh, who delivered to Pappas, a sensational ball. Well, it was a big chance for Greensboro when they had the ball down at this end for, for them to score. They were just a bit too hasty, I feel, in some of their decision-making. And, and again, it cost, them the, it cost them a shot of goal, and now they trail by about three goals. But again, around the, around the back of the centre square, this is Matt Hyde at left half back, uh, right half back even, goes up to the forward flank, Vilato flies and takes a good mark. I was never going to work, Steve was the only target there and he's undersized against Lorenzini and Violato. Violato now hands off to Lorenzini, he gets around his uh, his direct opponent there and now has the handball back to Violato, Violato goes with a right foot kick up to half forward, Walsh is the flyer at the back, uh, couldn't bring it down. Uh, Greensboro converge on the footy. Plenty of players around the ball. It'll be about. Boyd looking a bit sore in the centre of the ground. I think he might have just had the wind taken out of him in that marking contest there. But uh, ball up now on the far side of the ground and uh, just tapped back. It doesn't go out. Ricky Mullins keeps it in. Goes up to the wing now. Bonjetti making a, a long lead up from the forward 50. Doesn't take it in the end. Umpire blows the whistle. Free kick has been given to Greensboro. So Bonjetti now goes up to the half forward flank. Steed takes it. He goes around on the right foot. Burns in the pocket, making a lead. Great mark taken there from Burns, just ahead of Violato. 
probably, a, goal square if he probably wants to a bit go. too far out to score on a bit of a tight angle. Irving undersized against Stanton in the goal square. Great kick by Steve, wasn't it? It's the space, mm. and he lose a 360 lead there by, by Burns. Starting back to goal, completely turned Vailardo inside out, and it's a lovely kick to space. Mark in his chest, he comes in now, left foot kick on goal. Looks pretty good. I reckon the kick that he has. Aaron Burns, welcome back to senior football. Kicks his first goal of the afternoon. Brings the margin back to 10 points. And again, just as Northcote Park looked like getting away, Greensboro reined them in. 11-8-74, plays 9-10-64. Northcote Park with the lead around the grounds. Eltham, 3-12-30, trailing Heidelberg, 9-8-62. West Preston Lakeside, 8-7-55, leading Epping, 5-4-34. Lower Plenty, 8-8-56, trailing Montmorency, 18-13-121. And Bundu is smashing the cloud 18-14-122 to 4-9-33 Burns becomes the fifth goal scorer for Greensboro today with uh, that goal there Boyden has four as well for Greensboro back out of the centre now Northcote Park trying to clear it out to the wing but Stanton takes the mark at half back he's got players running out wide to, towards the wing he's also got players running in board as well but he decides to go right to the centre of the ground and find Steed right in the centre circle in that muddy patch of the ground he's got Bongetti trying to make a lead he's got Jordan as well in the pocket North the Park getting plenty of players back. He decides to stick this one up. Oh. Bonchetti, oh, almost takes a good mark. Comes out the way of Jordan. Jordan on the snap. He's got it. A great goal there from Cameron Jordan and Greensboro are back in this one. The scores now read Northcote Park 11 8 74, Greensboro 10 10 70. A four point ball game here in the third term. You could tell that was about to happen. Bongetti was one on one with his opponent. Jordan was one on one with his opponent at Bongetti's feet. Bongetti called to the midfield and said, Get it down long, get it to me. They kicked it straight to him. He was able to bring the ball to ground for Jordan, and there weren't enough Northcote Park defenders to help out uh, Jordan and Bongetti's direct opponents. Easy goal in the end, but a beautiful snap by Jordan. He's hit three goals now, Jordan. He hit five last week, and we said early on in the, uh, in the lead up that he could be the, the dangerous player up forward and he has just proven that as he kicks goal number three is the ball now back in the middle of the ground Northcote Park leading by four points trying to emerge Northcote Park kick off uh, over Tanjo's boot was smothered Delidio looks down in the middle of the ground we'll keep an eye on that one there he just slowly gets to his feet now ball kick forward Northcote Park so going back courageously was Carter just hacked out of the air 40 metres there by Violado who can mark this one McEwen went back couldn't quite take the mark crushing through Abitanjo he's got a big frame for a young kid he kicks on his left boot right to the goal line who's going to mark this Pappas oh another one great mark there by Mitch Pappas deep in the forward line and he's kicked two goals from this very spot in this term and he'll go back and he should make it goal number three 15 metres out Slot. There's an angle there to speak, a 45 degree angle, but he has kicked two from his very spot. You'd imagine he'd make it three. And great work there by Abitangelo. Just crashed through. He was the under 19s Division 1 best and fairest last year. He just looks so comfortable at senior level Got it. as Pappas puts it straight through the middle. So Pappas with goal number four for today. And uh, now Northcote Park head out to a 10, got 10 point lead. 12 8 80 to Greensboro 10 10 70. We'll go around the grounds in Division 2 Hurstbridge 8 7 55. Closing in on Middlesea 12 12 84. Diamond Creek 11 12 78. Leading Mernda 3 5 23. Laylor 40. Trailing Fitzroy Stars 81. And North Heidelberg 80. Leading South Morning 47. And Pappas joins uh, Reese Boyden as the two men to score four goals for today as well. The ball back in the centre. And it looks like McEwen is going to do the ruck work. It might be against Rintoul again. And uh, eventually comes out, no, neither Ruckman getting the advantage in that one there, but Greensboro clear out towards the right half forward flank. Steed running onto this one ahead of Lorenzini. He gets it one-handed. Lorenzini wraps him up in a big tackle, and again, Northcote Park can... This includes our premium range. Try our delicious chicken parma melt or a chicken schnitzel sub. So if you're looking for healthy fast food that's also incredibly good value, then Subway of them is... They can get that, that ball into, just get it in quickly because their forwards are taking marks. They are kicking goals, 12 goals to 10. It's been a really exciting exciting game and as we said we're really not, none the wiser as, as to who will win this game it's just 10 points in it and, and both sides have really fancy their chances from here North Park could really be the favourite given we've got that just under two goal buffer but certainly Greensboro as they've done all day today are really going to press hard Jordan Canellis will let you get your breath back you're you right to speak you were at, at the Greensboro huddle listening to what Robert Hyde had to say He's side trailing by just 10 points. He'd have to be happy with the effort, but still, he knows with a massive quarter here, they could pull off the upset. He was really happy at the start of his speech. He said he was really happy with the stoppages, the amount of stoppages that Greensboro are getting and enforcing. Um, he says, though, um, to keep... Handball, he says handball is essential and try and get, find the player in space. If they can drive it into the forward 50, lock it in there, 
and then they'll, they'll know that they can get a goal. He said the first goal of this quarter is essential because then it gets it back to four points. Overall, though, really happy the message was simple. Just get it forward, drive it forward, and force the stoppages. No doubt, but that, this first goal is massive. In, in the context of Greens for season, it's going to be the most important goal to date because if they get it, as you said, they're within a goal. If they don't, Northcote Park goes out to a near three goal lead. They'll be hard to, to haul in as close as this game has been, but just so important. And now to start this final quarter, take it away, Tom Flanagan. Now it's Craker and Woodson in the ruck once more, and they go up the ruck and fly. It was a bit of a nil all draw there. Went down to Morris, but it bumped out to Woodson. Woodson gave a hand ball out, and a high kick came inside from Letter try into the Northcote Park forward line. Going after that one hard, O'Connell was at the bottom of the pack. Uh, Rintoul pushing that one out for Greensboro. Conlon Gunn kicks it off the ground, gets it out to the wing. It's a foot race. Carter and Steed. Carter picks it up. Steed tackles him. Steed goes after it. Carter tackles him. Uh, the, the two of them are uh, fighting out there on the wing. It's going to be a ball up. Fantastic one-on-one duel out there. Greensboro tried to get the numbers out there to help Steed, but uh, Carter had been able to lock it up by that stage. So we are at centre wing now. No side really having any territory advantage. This throw-in comes in. Craker won it to the back. Letter later tackle. Letter tried to extract. I don't think he's going to go anywhere there. And we'll have another ball up here. There's a ball still in the wing. Though it's moving closer to the centre of the ground as the umpire throws it up again. Winton flick at the back. Gun trying to emerge the great tackle by Donaldson. The ball is now going to come out green for his way. They've got some run now. Grub goes long, really long. It's going to go right to the line. Minus score, just the wrong side of the post. Much to the chagrin of the North, of the Greensboro faithful, they do close now. It's back to a single-digit margin. It's 10-11-71 Greensboro at Northcote Park, 12-8-80. Must lock it in here, Greensboro. Ben McNeese at fullback here for Northcote Park. He goes with a left foot kick. It's not going to reach his intended target. Morris, Johnston took the mark, played on, went for goal, probably rushed it a little bit and pushed should, it to the left. Should he have gone back and set the centre? Mm-hmm. I know he had his momentum up. He's taking the big mark. He's on the run, but if he had his time again, I reckon he would have gone back and had the set shot. Two chances missed in this opening two minutes here of the quarter. It's back to an eight-point game. Must use the ball well here out of the back line here, Northcote Park. They don't want to allow too many opportunities in the early part of this last quarter for Greensboro to score easy goals. There, there was a couple that have already gone already. Only a couple of minutes gone here in this last quarter. They have to tighten up in the back half. Lorenzini for the left foot kick. That one is perfect. Uh, finds a man out at half back, and then a long follow-up kick down to Walsh. He creates a contest, and over the back, here's O'Connell. He's been a great player all day, but Wilson drags him down over the boundary line. There'll be a throw-in on the wing. He's a great kick out there by Lorenzini, wasn't it? There's a thumping kick. Pins up tight in the boundaries. We go to Division 3, and Heidelberg was within three points of Parkside now, 64 play 67, Reservoir 69, leading Thomas down 59, Watsonia 51, trailing St Mary 70. So Woonton and Craker to do the ruck work here out on the wing, Woonton gets a tap down straight down McLennan's throw, McLennan trying to dance his way through a couple of players, Davies gets the hands out to Delidio, Delidio now goes to the long one inside, forward 50 to the hot spot, the fly, the fly from uh, Pappas, didn't bring it down though, Coleman tries to get the hands off, Delidio's in there again, it looks like Hyde's going to run this one out, he just gets it off the handball to Mullen. Mullins with a left foot kick inboard, finds his man there in Ryan. Ryan, hand, that was Clark, handballs it back out to Hyde, but instead comes to Johnson. Johnson paddles it forward to the boundary line. Mullins gets it back, tries to put the fist in. Plenty of players now in support for Northcote Park. They get it back inside forward, 50 Northcote Park with the mark in defence. Safe one. hands from Drew Wilson. Three on one in Greensboro's oh. favour. Need to be smarter. That kick almost landed in the arms of Mitch Pappas, but Conlon Gunn was good enough to use his body and push him out of the contest to take the mark. He moves shorter up the field. Finds a teammate there in uh, Bryant. Bryant now with the footy at half back. He's got a short option. He goes oh, over no. the top to Callaway. Oh, it's not going to reach him. Good fist in there by Carter. And Callaway got in the back of his direct opponent, Donaldson, who picked up the footy. And now Donaldson will get a free kick. Callaway had to take that mark, but the kick wasn't great. Uh, good work by uh, Donaldson to get it into Morris. He's about 50 metres out. We know he's a penetrating kick. You could get it really close to the goal line or just set something up here. He decides to set something up. Gets in the direction of Coleman. Free run at it. You can't allow that. They can't allow that Coleman. disappointing, isn't it? Again, we mentioned it when he kicked his, his only goal for the game in, in that second quarter. As good as they've been defensively on him, when he took that one, there was no body contact at all. He could fly yep. out the field, much like that Nui last night. But despite being the back of the pack, he was able to run and fly. And again there, I mean, Norris hung that ball up and it was always going to mark. It was a slow ball coming in, but it was always favoured by it. Just lacks checking in such an important stage of the game and this can make it a 14 point buffer and Northcote Park can get a handy break here early in the final term. Coleman, he kicked one today he has still kicked one today, that one just fading across the face of goal, minus score, Northcote Park 
12 9 81. Greensboro 10 12 72. They quickly moving this ball from defence. Wilson went out wide. Room 2 marks 50 out from his own goal. Kicking up the line. This one won't quite find its target. Walsh spawned away to Davies, who didn't call too often in the third quarter. He was massive in the second turn. But uh, certainly, North Park will be looking for a big final turn from their skipper. Five minutes, seven minutes, no, oh, I'll start that again. Three minutes into this last quarter, it's North Park leading by nine points. So Woodson and Craker again to do the ruck work, similar to where they were before, out on the wing. Running onto it, though, let it makes the tackle. Carter running onto it here for North Park. Hands off to Davies, has to regain it a bit. Goes off to Violato, gets his way through or gets his way through a number of players. And goes out wide to the wing. Great fist. Big fist there, and uh, Delito wasn't able to take the mark. And the fist coming there from, uh, I think that was Johnston, Johnston, was. Johnston number 15 there for uh, for Greensboro, and another throw in on the wing. Intriguing couple of minutes coming up here in this mouth-watering clash. It's been fantastic all day. Last quarter is hotting up at the moment. The pressure is really massive. Craker wins that tap down, gets in the direction of Gunn. Gunn tackled into the ground by McLennan. Gets a little handball out, tried to uh, feed his teammate and Steed. He was able to get around on the left foot there, Steed. The kick uh, was under pressure and it was no good. Land right in the arms of Violato. He's able to move up the field to Carter. Between wing and half, that Carter marks in front of Steed, who was the uh, man who uh, turned it over to Violato. Uh, Delidio is loose, deep on the wing. He gets the ball now in front of uh, Conlon Gunn. He holds up the footy, just looking for uh, options further afield. Goes in the direction of Walsh. Two on two. O'Connell almost took it. Walsh gave the hands off to Wunton, the big man, running oh. and kicking long. Almost to the goal square. Oh, off the back, Coleman tries to pick it up. It's rushed through off the hands of Brent Ryan. I know we've only played now six minutes in this final quarter, but you can tell... Both sides starting to tie. You can really see the strain on the players' faces. You just think North Park, they can kick the first one. Three goals is going to be an almighty margin to haul in. They're leading here 12 10 82 to 10 12 72. Ten points of difference is hard. Kicks long. Big fly over the top from Johnson. Didn't G touch Davies. the footy. Davies kicks into the man on the mark as such. It was Drew Wilson, a jumping Drew Wilson. Now in the hands oh, of Clark. Broke a couple of tackles. Kicked up to the wing. Who's his target? Boyden. They'd probably like him with the ball deeper to goal. Handled over the top. It sets up running Aaron Burns. Burns can go here. He's taking a bounce. Can he have another? He chips inside. The kick isn't going to quite find a target. At ground level, Northcote Park with numbers. Will they extract here? Letter. It's going to be a free kick either way. Letter would have taken the footy, but it'd be a free kick. There's a diving Nick Carter who got one in the back. So Carter from fullback goes out to the right halfback flank. Finds a man out there. Lorenzini gets the ball back here. Just uh, sells a bit of candy and goes out further to Abitangelo. That was the first time I've seen him kick on the non-preferred, I think. Now the Abitangelo has dropped it here, but North Park get it back. Still out on the wing. Plenty of Greensboro players coming in now. McLennan breaks away. Has to handball back. Again, Lorenzini gets it back. Fends off one and dances around another. Look at, that. Look at the power there from Lorenzini. He goes up to half forward. He goes over the top of his intended target. Plenty of players coming back here for Greensboro. Drew Wilson hands off to Mullins. Mullins says don't argue to Nabi Kelly. Nabi Kelly tries oh. to get it back. A great kick there from, Stan uh, from Mullins. Goes to Stanton Jeez, in the back pocket. That was risky there from Drew Wilson, but standing here in the back pocket, looks the field, goes up to centre wing, finds a man out there, it's a good mark, taken out there, great kick even from uh, from Stanton, now uh, centre to goal here, across ground, this is Conti, Conti goes inside forward 50, tries to find the man, but Violato taking the defensive mark, safe hands back there for Northcote Park. Gee, the back line stood up in this early stage of the finals quarter here, Northcote Park, Carter, handles onto a running letter right in the heart of Bill Laurie over the letter, kicking for Coleman, he's got three numbers there, Coleman, if he can keep it in front, they should have the numbers here, he does, to Donaldson, Donaldson tries to dance or attack, he does, Morris, he, he can run, he goes on the non-preferred, kicks not going to make the distance, getting back and taking the, oh, gee, nearly dropping, it was ring two, just taking on the second grab and they're away now through Johnson. Long option from Morris. Johnson handball over to Matty Hyde running off halfback. He's going to need a shepherd. He's going to get it. What a tackle by Kelly. Oh, but he gave the handball off so the umpire didn't play holding the ball. Deledio uh, uh, gets it back for North Park. Gives it to Lorenzini. O'Connell and Walsh went up in the contest. Uh, probably spoiled each other in the end. Johnson off the back of the pack. Uh, for Greensboro tries to get it up to half forward. Fowler runs it out of bounds. Gee, Walsh had to protect it. O'Connell coming back. All Walsh had to do was put the arms out and block the defender from coming over the top. Instead, he flew and it allowed Greensboro to bring the ball to ground level. And 
He oh, just got the handle away, didn't he? It was just. a great chase down by Navi Kelly. His forward pressure has been sensational in the second half. Greensboro really need to go forward here. They know if they can score a goal, it's down to three points. But McNeese running away from this one here. McNeese with a left foot kick inside forward 50. But Drew Wilson again in defence takes another defensive mark. He oh, sends it up. No. His target flipped over. So did Donaldson, the man who went to set it. Donaldson got to his feet, but Wilson gets it back here. Handball's off to Mullins. Mullins left foot out. Finds the big man out there in Craker. Craker just in front of Wunton. Craker goes with the short one over the top to Stanton. Stanton takes the mark out there. Looks inboard for a man, but just slows it down here. Eventually, it looks like he is going to go for the switch. Another big kick out wide. Dangerous. Finds his man in the middle of the ground. Dangerous kick there. Fowler couldn't take it. Donaldson. Donaldson. Oh, Donaldson gets it. A tackle, oh, tackle. tackle away from Steed. And it looks like Steed will get Conte, the free Conte. Conte. And he's been brilliant at tackling all day, Conte. I reckon he's laid five or six really good tackles the, like that that have uh, stopped the I know it's in the middle of the ground. It's a goal saving tackle yeah, because magnificent. Donaldson looked up and Coleman was in acres of space. He did that tackle from Conte didn't allow him to move the ball up the ground. Now they're moving up the half forward and that's going to trickle out of bounds. We have now played 10 minutes in this final quarter. Neither team has kicked the goal. It's 12-10-82 Northcote Park. Greensboro is 10-12-72. 10 points. All that separates these sides. 10 minutes played, final quarter, no goals to be yet to be kicked in this final turn. Rucks going at it again. Uh, McEwen won that one down, locked up straight away at the bottom of that pack was Mullins. We'll have another secondary stoppage. Gee, this has been a good game of footy. 10-point ball game at the moment. Ball uh, at half forward here for Greensboro. If they can uh, pick one up now, it's right on. Conti at the bottom of that pack, working really hard. Uh, letter also for Northcote Park. He's trying to get a handball out to one of his teammates. He's tackled immediately by Conti as soon as he gets to his feet. The kick was only as far as Craker, but he couldn't pick it up. McLennan kicked it off the ground into the middle of the ground. Uh, Donaldson went after it, as did Carter. Donaldson got it back, gave a handball. It was uh, intercepted by Fowler for Greensboro. Uh, Fowler gave it to Steed. Steed over the top, found Grubb. Grubb takes the mark. He's an experienced player. He goes back. He thinks, oh, I can kick this one from 40 metres out. And uh, very important kick coming up here for Greensboro. Oh boy, is this an important kick for Josh Cobb. What does this have in, in store for not only the game, but also in the context of the season? He can go back here and bring it back to within four points. Grubb from 30 metres, set shot on goal is good. Straight through the middle. Never in doubt there for Josh Grubb. First goal of the quarter goes Greensboro's way. We heard how much that uh, Robert Hyde harped on getting that first goal. They've done it. I know it's uh, taken 11 minutes, but they're still the first team that kicked the goal of first goal kick in this term and it's now 11 goals 12 78 Greensboro Northcote Park 12 10 82 four points of difference Josh Grubb kicking his first goal of the afternoon so what a Grubb, game. Grubb now joins the goals the band of goal scorers for Greensboro with his first of the day ball back in the center of the ground now it looks like McEwen and uh, Craker again to do the ruck work in the middle of the ground Bonnie Davis is in there as well he's had a good last quarter Delidio's in there as well wrapped up in the tackle by Conlon Gunn Davies gets himself underneath there umpire calls for a secondary ball up. We go around the ground three quarter time West Preston Lakeside 81 leading Epping 59 elsewhere Montmorency doing it really comfortably over lower plenty one Fundura 113 points ahead of McLeod. So now this is uh, Greensboro looking to get the ball back Conti handballs off a few handballs there just getting smothered eventually cleared out of the way there but Abitangelo runs onto it here for Northcote Park has to dance around one wrapped up in a tackle falls to his knees gets it back again goes for Coleman at right half forward a big fist over the top there for Bryant but Coleman runs onto it again, paddles it to his advantage but the ball eventually just gets pushed out of bounds and it's on the forward flank now for Northwood Park. Tension is high on the field at the moment. I'm both. nervous in the yeah. commentary box let alone being out there playing the game or in the coach's box. So. Fantastic game of footy it's uh, midway through the last quarter four point ball game, Greensboro trailing but they're pressing. Uh, that one one down by Croker only as far as Rosbrook, trophy winner Davies, he goes high into the forward line no funnel, we haven't seen him since the first quarter he takes a big mark now and this would be a massive goal. That was courageous by all parties. Woonton, it was Bryant who was running back as a defender for Greensboro and O'Connell. Three plays, eyes for the footy. O'Connell dived, just avoided the big uh, bump from his teammate Woonton and unfortunately Bryant was the one who got it right in the solplex. No, um, or, or was it an, in, an intentional one? His eyes completely for the footy as the two bodies were sprawling after the mic was taken and this, for his third goal, at the most important time in this game, O'Connell, tensions high, comes in, kick on goal is good. In front, 
10 points of difference still to Tony Flanagan. Fanny O'Connell kicks the goal. The North Gap Park, they keep the lead as uh, Tony Flanagan gets excited here in the commentary box. It is North Gap Park, 13-10, 88. <laughs> Greensboro, 11 12, 78. We have played 16 minutes. In, in fact, I'll take that back. It's 13 minutes in this quarter, and it's now back out to a... 10 point margin. This has been an absolute seesawing contest. Well, they are in front. <laughs> <laughs> so, O'Connell with his third for the day. Craig Cohen wanting to do the ruck battle again. My bad, that's McEwen in the middle there. Gun extracted out of the midfield. Goes with the high one to the hot spot. Plenty of players oh. underneath this one. Jordan. Jordan's to run onto it. Gets the foot onto it. Oh. It just trickles across the, the face of goal. They need to pick it up. And the behind for Greensboro. The score now reads Northcote Park 13 10 88. Greensboro 11 13 79. I know it's hard when you're in the moment. But he just had to bend down and pick it up there. Crucial, crucial there from Cameron Jordan now. Coming out uh, from fullback. That's a big kick up to the wing. And McEwen takes oh, the mark. Poor handball. Poor handball. Chris Clark gets it there for Greensboro. Handball off to Conti. He's been really good in the second half. He goes long. One on one becomes a two on two. Lorenzini dropped the mark on the last line of defence. McNeese gets a little handball out. Davies is usually composed in these situations. Handball was a little bit pressure. dry. And there's uh, Letter getting tackled. Great pressure. Fantastic effort by the Greensboro forwards. They've uh, been brilliant with that all day. It's been a strong focus, tackling and holding the ball in the That's forward line. exactly what Robert Hyde was talking about at the three-quarter time huddle. He said, get it in the forward 50 and lock it in there, and that's what they've done. Bongetti flies up for this one. Plenty of Northcote Park players at the base of the pack here. Letter tries to get it out, but again, another tackle laid, and they force another stoppage here. This is what Robert Hyde was asking for at the three-quarter time huddle. Again, the ball thrown up. Again, Bongetti doing the ruck work. McEwen's in there, tries to get the kick out, but uh, it just evades him there. Plenty of Northcote Park players in here, and they've got the run out. This is Morris clearing it up to the wing, but it comes out the way of Ryan, just in front of Kelly. Gets a handball off to Bryant now. Oh, He's oh, kicked and smothered. He gets it back again, though, on the wing. It goes again with the left foot inside, almost near the forward 50. Letter off the ground. Comes out the way of Conti. Bryant again running over this one. Wrapped up in the double tackle there. Umpire surely, surely has to ball up. call there, Jordan. <laughs> the ball ricocheted three times in, in separate, in opposite directions there, and it's going to be a ball up on centre wing. Doing the ruck with the McHugh and run it down, but it was only as far as Clark. He's high up on the ball. It's going to be marked by Carly. Couldn't quite take the second juggle at it. Now, Stead lowered the oh, eyes. Good kick bro. outside. It finds Stanton. What can he do? There's still plenty of time. No need to rush at this stage. Look for the best option, Stanton. Bombs it long to the square. Who's going to fly? Spawn from Lorenzini across the face of goal. An interesting one. McEwen on hands and knees. He's got to get it out. He does. Snap on goal. Oh, Rick oh, just misses. Clark, I think, with the snap. And it was a minor score. They're getting closer, but just by, min- just by those points. It's 13 goals, 10, 88. Playing 11 goals at 14, 88 points of difference. Gee, it was a good sport by Lawrence Daniel and Boyden, but he did punch it right to that hot spot, wasn't it? And they were fortunate to get away with that one, North Cape Park. Certainly. So Lawrence Daniel now full back for North Cape Park. Looks to come out to the right side. He goes up to the right back flank. Stanton comes in with a big fist and throws it over the boundary line. Abitangelo was the man out there, but out of bounds for another boundary throwing forward flank for Greensboro. Good opportunity here for Greensboro to go back inside Ford 50 and score a much-needed goal. They are eight points down at the moment, so they need two goals here. Again, out on the uh, on the right forward flank, ball thrown in. Wunchen doing the ruck work. It's fisted towards Northcote Park's goal. Grubb trying to run onto it here. Again, just kept in there from Grubb. Grubb keeps it in. McNeese comes out with it now. Goes to the left foot kick up to the wing. Pappas is underneath this one. Goes to the fly. Takes a great mark. Takes a great mark on the wing. Has got O'Connell now on the run. Making a run out on the half forward flank. He takes a mark. A great mark taken there from O'Connell. He's been good in the first half and he's been great here in the last quarter as well. There's a few players making a few leads here for Northcote Park. Conlon was one of them. A bit too far though. O'Connell goes at the right foot inside forward 50 players coming around oh, here oh, great. oh almost Morris taking the great mark around the back Bryant clears it out back up to the wing it looks like it's just going to stay in here for Rintoul Rintoul runs onto it Winter coming around the back here for Northcote Park great efforts there I think that was Ryan coming in I'm not quite sure who that was for Greensboro but a great effort there shown by the man and uh, forces another boundary throw in on the wing. Could have been paid a mark here, Doug, Doug Morris threw for that one. I thought he had a good bite of it, but, uh, a, you know, a couple of split seconds either way, he may have had it. Uh, now the rucks, 
going hard at each other. Wunton won that one down, only as far as uh, Mullins at the bottom of the pack. Wrapped up again, there'll be yet another bounce uh, just on centre wing. We'll get a uh, quick reprieve. We'll go around the grounds. Hurstbridge 74, trailing Whittlesey 98. Diamond Creek 95, tra- leading Myrna 29. Laylor 47, trailing Fitzroy Stars 110. And North Heidelberg 99, leading South Morang 49. So an eight-point lead here to Northcote Park here in the final term at Bill Laurie Oval. Just waiting for the ball to be thrown back in here. It is Winton and Craker to do the ruck work, the two big men. Winton, a big fist inside forward 50, just eludes Morris. Callaway runs onto it here. The two small men, McLennan and Callaway, going for it. Davies gets himself in and under that pack as well. Not uncharacteristic there from Bronick Davies to get himself at the bottom of the pack. Umpire calls for a ball up inside forward 50 for Northcote Park. Yeah, the ruck's going at it once more time. Really dangerous position for Greensboro Car- let this one get out the back. It was a good hit out and well done to Callaway. Stanton had the ball spell. I believe I dispossessed him. He was tackled again by Stanton. Conti goes towards the boundary. It's on the full. It's a silly error. And now uh, Northcote Park with a chance to reload. Dangerous stages here for Greensboro. They must get the next one. Otherwise, it's going to be extremely tough. So we've played 19 minutes in this final quarter. Just one goal apiece so far. Grubb kicked one at the 11-minute mark for Greensboro. At the 13-minute mark, O'Connell responded. McNeese goes for O'Connell. Couldn't quite take it overhead. Now at ground level. Here's a go for Greensboro. Running out now through Jordan. Long kick. Looking for Boyd. Will it pitch in front of him? It will. Kind bounce. Allows him to collect. Now, which way can he go? Gets a handball over the top. They've got to get a ball inside quickly now. The ball looking for Clark. Couldn't quite find him. It was a composed man there in Carter who did it brilliantly and then he kicked it long up the line and found O'Connell. O'Connell's going to go inside. A dangerous kick. Will it pay off? Morris took a sensational mark. mark. Nor he or Callaway took their eyes off that footy. Morris, will he just hold up some time? There's still so long to go on the clock. 20 minutes played. Still at least five minutes you would think. Kicks out for Coleman. Got it. He's paid it. Coming across there, it looked like it might have been Rintoul trying to affect the score, but Coleman just held it for long enough. He'll kick it from about 30 metres out. It's the scoreboard side here at Bill Laurie Oval, kicking to the grandstand end, and this, you think, would be enough if he could put this one through. There were three defenders drawn to the one forward, Coleman, and the kick from Morris was just perfect. Split the three of them perfectly and, and was able to hit uh, Coleman on the head. As he comes in now, kick on goal is done barrel straight. Tony Coleman... Such an important time to put one through, and he's done just that for his side. You'd think that should just about do it. Northcote Park now leading by 14 points, 14-10-94 to 11-14-80. As we go around the ground in Division 3, we've got a couple of surprise results probably going to emerge. It's St Mary's, 10-10-70, leading Watsonia, 8-12-60. Heidelberg West, 15-4-94, leading Park, so they've gone to a complete halt. 12-9-81, Reservoir, 12-11-83, leading Thomastown, 10-10-70, all three games, 13 points or less at the board, now back in the middle of the ground. Greensboro looking to clear here, Craker gave a handball off to Fowler, that's Matt Fowler with a high ball inside 50 in the direction of Jordan McNeese, got off the back, read it well, took the good mark, and uh, he has to be composed here in the back half, no silly little mistakes here from Northcote Park, they don't need that. Good kick by McNeese, Fons Violato, about 30 metres out from his defensive goal. He sweeps the handball out to Lorenzini on the back flank. He goes with a left foot kick up to the wing, trying to uh, search for the man in Donaldson. But, uh, yeah, no, it wasn't, wasn't a great kick. So Conlon Gunn will, uh, will reload from the wing here for Greensboro. Gets it into Craker. Craker goes back on his mark. He's got a couple of options further afield. Could have given the handball off the hide, but he decided against it. He went with a right foot kick and he found... Uh, it's uh, Boyd in there on they the outer side. get it in long, don't they? Uh, it's going to be too long left on the clock. They must must get it in deep, and they do at this stage. There's Boyd in with a long kick. Almost a mark paid to uh, Villarado at the back. Forced towards goal there for Greensboro, but rushed through for one behind by the Northcote Park defence. 14-10-94 plays... Uh, that's that's North Park 141094. Greensboro is 111581. So they've now had more scoring shots. Just one, it must be said, but they trail by 13 points as Bronick Davies has it deep in defence. Bronick Davies goes short. Oh. Considine, Considine drops the mark. Handles out to Abitangelo, who finds Morris. Morris now goes out to the centre of the ground. Finds Donaldson. He's been pretty good today, Donaldson. He goes out to the forward flank and finds Wunton. Wunton handles overlap to Delidio. Delidio goes around one. And it's off to McLennan. McLennan running inside 50. Left foot shot. Not going to make the Distance. Coleman in the pocket. He's got great hands, Coleman. You yeah, had a look there, and, and McLennan actually looked up. He was never having a shot at goal. He looked up. He was always kicking to the lead of Coleman. He probably would have been better advised to run. He had plenty of space, but unselfishly, unselfishly 
dished it off and you see Bright there, Sands dejected on the mark. He's held him so well so far today, Colin, but he could well kick the final two goals of the game. And this one, surely, if it's not already over, this one will do it. Coleman comes in and got it. You can tell from the crowd reaction, Coden Coleman has his third. He and Pappas again have seven between them. And Northcote Park will make it five straight wins. The Cougars, 15-10-100. Greensboro, 11-15-81. 19 points of difference. We have played 23 minutes in this final quarter. This has been a great game. Greensboro has never given up, but in the end, it's three goals to one in this final quarter to the Cougars. Yeah, you'd have to think it's all but over now for uh, Greensboro. Only a few minutes left in this final term. Not sure how much time left exactly, but not too much you'd imagine. Ball back in the centre of the ground now. McEwen taps it down. Gunn again, always trying hard. Conlon Gunn. Handball is off to Rintoul. Rintoul goes out, but his kick was wayward and finds Carter. Carter takes the mark, plays on quickly, goes across inside 50. Hyde almost takes a defensive mark. He comes, hits the ground. Donaldson now goes centre with, sh- with the kick and finds Harley Short at centre half forward. It doesn't deserve to blow out this game, does it at all? Um, North Park is finishing on top of that, that league, and I guess that's the benefit of having the advantage at three quarter time yeah. is that when you get one or two that uh, it, it, the other side just crumbles a bit under, yeah, under knowing the fact that the game's probably over and now they can get a few junk time goals and really blow out the lead. It has been a close game throughout though. Yeah, it's been a magnificent contest but a chance here for North Park to extend the lead and well and truly put the result beyond doubt. The kick's going to pull up short. It's not going to get to the goal square. It's going to be built out of bounds for a throw in. So yet another opportunity here for the Cougars. We go around the grounds in Division 1 West Preston Lakeside 13-11-89 leading Epping 9-6-60. Lowell plenty 8 9 57 getting smashed by Mott Morency 27-17-179. Bandura 22-19-151 to McLeod 4-11-35. So ball thrown in. Plenty of players around here for Northcote Park, just trying to keep it in there, making sure that Greensboro don't get a run on here, but you have to think it's too late anyway for uh, Greensboro to make any sort of comeback. As 25 minutes ticks over in this final quarter, McEwen won the tap, extracted there by Conti, handball to no one in particular, Harley short, handball inside, Conti ran hard again to intercept that one there, ball 40 metres out from Northcote Park's goal as the umpire calls for the footy, as the siren sounds here, and a sensational game of football ends with a Northcote Park victory by 19 points. Sensational, well done to both sides, put on a real show today. I think everyone here got their money's worth. Final scores here, Northcote Park, 15 goals, 10-100. As defeated Greensboro, 11-15-81, 19 points to the final margin as we go through the goal kickers. And for Northcote Park, four to Mitch Pappas, three each to Coden Coleman and Patrick O'Connell, two to Abitangelo and singles to Sean Lorenzini, Harley Short and Bronick Davies. Four, the Greensboro Football Club, four goals to Reese Boyden, three to Cameron Jordan, one each to Tim Bongetti, Aaron Burns, Conlon Gunn and Josh Grubb. But in the end, it is a 19-point win to the Northcote Park Football Club. Final scores 15-10-100 to Greensboro, 11-15-81. We're going to go to a break. When we come back, we'll have all the around-the-ground scores and we can bring to you there's been some close games around there's been some hidings as well distributed we'll go through all those and give our post game analysis here on your local station 88.6 Plenty Valley FM Hi mate how's the new forklift job going? Fantastic I'm earning more now than I ever could in my old job where did you go to get your forklift?